YouTube stickers. But this is a pretty big event because this is This part of this week's video content is going to be in my garage. This is a garage that people use and keep chickens in. So you've been warned. <laughs> I'm working on my event booth. So my event that I've got coming up this weekend is outside. I'll just bring my own tent that it's like, I've got my 10 by 10 booth space underneath like a bigger giant tent. Uh, I don't have any way to display my artwork vertically and up in people's faces. So I've come up with, you know, after doing lots of Pinterest searching and trying to figure out with what I have at home, cause it just gets so expensive to get all of this stuff and not know if it's even gonna work or not. So I was just trying to keep cost a little bit low. Unfortunately, my husband works at a company that had some miscuts um, for some shelving units that they were building and he had brought them home and those have been sitting in my garage. So I'm going to take these and I think I'm going to stack them up on my tabletop and use the whole saw and make peg holes and make shelves for it to display artwork on. Um, they're only 30 inches tall, so they're still not super tall, but I think they're going to give me a little bit more vertical space than I was gonna get. So we'll see how this works out. This is where they're supposed to be. It says that they have them. Here we go. They don't have it. Back from Home Depot. I've got some stuff to go ahead and make these shelves, hopefully. So let's get to work and hopefully I don't muck things up. Oh my God, of course, they're mowing next door. But I got this and I want to see how, I'm hoping this works. I'm gonna try it first on my drill press because I think that might be faster, but maybe not. And I'll have to put on my power drill. So let's see how this goes. We're all about troubleshooting, right? So this got caught in here. Um, I use a hole saw like this that's bigger to cut my three eighth, um, my, not my three eighth, I don't know what I'm saying, my three inch like circles for pet portrait ornaments. So I don't, maybe this wasn't the right thing to do since I'm not keeping it, but I don't know why it got stuck like that. Hmm. I gotta think on this. So I just spent the last like hour working on putting some of these holes into one of these boards and I have so many boards to make. I still my glasses on. <laughs> Look at this shit. That is the back side. And then I was like, well maybe I don't have to go through it all the way. And that still looks like crap. But I can measure and put a stop in it. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, it's day two. I ended up giving up kind of early last night because it was blowing up backs like I showed you. And so my husband came home and he looked at it and we decided, well, he decided that if I go from the front and the back, then I won't bust through that melamine and like fracture it, blow it out so much. So it's a little bit of an extra step, but I think I'm gonna also change things up because I don't like how many holes there are. So I think I'm going to decrease it by half. I'm gonna do some practice runs and then hopefully we'll be on the road to getting this up and ready for uh, I have three days to do this. <laughs> Here's what I've got going on here. I've got the board that he went ahead and measured it to just go to the back right here. So that pilot hole is just popping through. I'm gonna go through and do all of these on this side and then I'll flip it over and then I'll do the other side and then that little plug in the middle will just pop right out. Uh, and I think that's gonna work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a couple dowel rods and I wanna like, just prop this up and test some artwork on it and make sure I'm even going in the right direction before I do my other four boards, five boards. I don't know how many boards I have, but that's the goal. All right, it's looking great. Gotta get these other ones done now.
Good morning, good morning. It is Thursday. It feels like Friday morning, as you've seen with my display and everything. So my display is at my husband's work right now. He's finishing up getting those boards ripped down and the banding put on there. So we're gonna finish that up tonight. This is a true art fair. And so this art fair is full of people showing up to shop and to buy art, to look at art, to enjoy it, to appreciate, to shop for art, to buy it. So I have no idea, like how many prints do I need? Are my originals gonna sell? How should I display my originals? That figured out, but it's so exciting because it's two days. I've never done anything like this before. It's all gonna be a learning experience and I'm really excited, but I gotta get everything ready today so I can pack up tomorrow and head over there and get set up on Friday and be ready to go for Saturday. All right, today is event setup day. Uh, my husband and I worked on getting those panels set up the rest of the way last night and I forgot to record any of that. Uh, it was late and you know how those things go. All right, so I arrived at my event and began my setup. I did not have a tripod, so I had positioned my phone up on my little cart right here and it fell, <laughs> so I had to fix that again. I was fighting the wind a bit and my fences wouldn't stay up and I felt a little defeated, so I continued just working on setting up the table. I opted to go with tables kind of stacked in front of each other just because where I'm at, people don't like to step into the booth so much. They prefer to kind of just walk up to a table. So this is my first day set up. I sold some paintings and I decided to try something different on my second day because I wanted to show off some of my larger paintings. So this is my second day set up. Those pegboards worked great though. All in all, they were fantastic. I used sticky tack on the paintings to hold them into place so they didn't slip forward. And that was that. I just got home from a very successful weekend, great event, a wonderful, just I had a wonderful time. I did well, I spread joy to a lot of people and that was really awesome. Now I gotta unpack this car, get everything inside and I'm gonna crash. I'll see you next week. <laughs>